Hey everyone, um, back with another video, and this video is about like grounding, and um, it's funny because you're only going to know things by grounding into them and feeling into them. You could have the most strong point of view, you know, and you could have a million people behind you and you could be fighting for it or wanting it to be real so bad. But <laughs> if it's not God's truth, it literally just pops like a balloon. So what is your job in the things that you believe is to feel the God within them, to know them, to really know, you know? And um, it's okay to, you know, have your own thoughts on things, have your own beliefs, but you have to feel and know things. And through feelings is what really enables you to know things. You don't have to, like, hold on to, like, one thing or, like, something and then, like, try to prove it to the world. Like, it's kind of crazy. And it's kind of crazy to pr try to tell others, you know, what their truth is or, like, the job, the job that's done is in um, going within yourself, getting clear on all of your feelings all of the things that you're going through, all of the things that you're moving through. <clears throat> and then going to the next thing. Not holding on to one situation, one thing, one, like, life is so much deeper than that. And it's constantly you know, changing and moving, and of course, everyone moves at a different level, and, you know, for me, I move so fast, I move like, uh, I don't know, someone that's really fast, Usain Bolt, that's how I do life, but Usain Bolt needs rest, and needs recovery, and needs grounding, and just, you know, time to chill out, and time to be with himself you know he's with himself when he's running that race and it's a mega like achievement and high for him but he needs to ground it all in you know after he achieves what he achieves and I think for me that's been the big thing in my life is just grounding all of the things I've already achieved and not thinking that I need to achieve more because I'm so used to that, like, sports mentality where it's like, achieve, 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 conquer, you know, win, 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 win. But it's more like competition and ego-based where it's not peaceful. And I notice that I get upset with people because most people don't move in the ways that I do, but they are very grounded. And then it's like, I can look like, you know, the crazy one that's choosing some evil shit. But in, the, in a way, I am. Because I'm, you know, angry that others don't see reality in the way that I see it so in depth. <clears throat> and this is just, like, don't make any... This is just life, you know, this is my life. And, um... When I'm, you know, moving so fast, sometimes I crash, like I crash a lot because I'm not steady. I'm not grounded. I'm not connected to myself. And um, in a way where I can really share my feelings, like I'm sharing from my mental space, the things that I've learned in a mental spiritual way, but I'm an air sign, I guess, that has a lot to do with, like, how I'm, like, all about the intellectual side of things, but I love to feel, I love to, I love the passion that I hold within me, I love 
the journey that I've really got to witness, but it's like, I noticed that I, like, rather than just, like, being present with the thoughts that, like, are pushing me so far away from myself, it's like, I try to find the ones that are like, well, these are good thoughts, these are the real thoughts, but not even real, like, getting high off it, kind of, but there's no grounded structure, like, you have to ground, you have to just release the anxiety around your thoughts because if you release the anxiety around your thoughts then you can live in the peace of God you can live in the peace of reality and you can have the things that you really desire you can have the person that you really desire in your heart that you were created to be with <clears throat> even if things look crazy on the outside you were designed to be with one person you were designed to be in love with your twin flame. And in love with your twin flame is in love with your life. There's no other way. If you're not in love with your life, you're not in love with your twin flame. You can't love a person. You can't be with a person if you're not with yourself, with your life. You can, you know, have an idea of, you know, the love that you desire still, but you're not living it. <clears throat> and I think for me, like, it's just so much less about the idea of someone or something. And just, like, getting, just grounding into my feelings. And it's like, I don't care what somebody thinks about, like, what's happening in my reality. Because my reality is so, like, deep to, like, the average individual is not going to understand. You know what I mean? There's very, maybe a few people that would. Honestly, that's... And that's where, that's like my reality, you know, that's my design. And it's not to be compared with, it's not to be judged, like it's just what it is. And I'm still learning how to like accept myself for who I am and to not like make it out to be this like bad thing that I know what I know, that I feel what I feel and that I see what I see. But I have to ground it. I have so I can just share it from a place of peace without being anxious about my thoughts, without being anxious about my mental space. That's it. Like once that mental space can really open up to just like pure nothingness, which feels great, then I can share everythingness. <laughs> I can share everything that I am. I can share everything that I feel. I can share everything that I see because everybody has those fears of like oh my god what is the public or what is the person or what are the people gonna think of me you know we all have that but if you can just ground and you can just let it all fucking all the mental shit go you're gonna know let the mental shit go and you're gonna know so if you're not you know, being honest with your feelings, you're not being honest with your life, you're not being honest with anything, and if you're being honest with others, and they're not listening really to you, to who, to how you feel, or what you feel, <clears throat> fuck it, let it go, you know, you went as deep as you desired to, and you weren't being met and that's okay because if you're going with a full heart you know if you're being honest and real with yourself and others don't want to listen to that voice then that's for them to learn you know that's for them to figure out and your own peace of mind <clears throat> Is for you to figure out your own journey is for you to figure out and ground into and what's what's real who's real in my life why why are things true why are things not true why is this this way oh we just had a miscommunication here oh we just had a misperception here oh this is just fucking insane <laughs> you know what I mean like it's okay for things to not work out like the way you wanted them to or 
it's okay for things to not be what you're expecting because that's the beauty of life it's always better than you expect has it ever not been better than what you expect no it's always better every single fucking time so don't get worried about like it's not gonna be good it's not gonna be great man it's not gonna be everything because it is that's the beauty of life that's the beauty of fucking god <clears throat> and we're all just you know for all i know in my past life i could have you know done all the things you know i don't know like where i come from you know i'm still like getting to know myself and past lives and all these things but that doesn't even like that doesn't even equate to this moment like this is who i am right now living this earthly thing and this earthly thing is so important for this earth <laughs> and the people of this earth like this earthly thing that i live is just like a story in a lot of ways that is best to relate to the consciousness best to relate to people <clears throat> and this is like this is what i know but there's so much more and it's okay to know so much more it doesn't like it's not like people think like the more you know the scarier things get like no the more you know the more grounded the more you feel the more you love because you find that it's such a beautiful um reality everything about reality you can find more beauty in it by the more that you know and the more that you explore <laughs> the more that you explore your own consciousness like that's how you create the beauty that is you is by living it and feeling it and knowing it and that's what i've learned from jeff and shalia is how to do that how to how to really embody the work of god the the life that i live you know to just understand life to understand what's real for me to go get clear to do things for me for god for all and that's serving all that's serving everything everything is served as you choose to serve and i just had such a breakthrough in this video i'm so glad that i did it and i hope that this video helps you and it's union street we're perfect we're right in alignment here oh i feel so good and i feel like i can conclude this video but to anybody who desires to heal separation within themselves and to have a coach, I have a coach myself. It's not a weak thing. It's great to have support. Oh, I feel so much relief. <clears throat> so if you desire coaching, please visit my website now at twinflamesreality.com. You can check it out. Purchase a Harmonious Union reading also purchase a coaching session with me for $45 right now um, to see if you desire uh, a coaching relationship where I can help you permanently heal separation with your twin flame. Thank you guys and uh, I'll be back with much more content soon. Bye bye!